Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're finally fixing the wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm stripping them down, I'm gonna go take all this glue off from the old wheel weights. And then I'm gonna be sanding all of this back down and doing a couple more coats of white. So. This is the last time though. Now I know you can't paint 2K clear over any type of enamel or acrylic paint. So this actually has a finish in it that paint does. Um, so it should be really glossy whenever I'm done. I won't need to put a clear on it. We'll see what it looks like, but this should be the last day. And I do get to do some really cool satisfying peeling because my center caps are done. I feel like these are gonna look so good. We have to, we have to take it off right now, paint off right now. Let's go. Okay, probably the most satisfying thing ever is getting to take this off. The paint got into underneath, but I can actually, I can get that off. Look at it. Tell me it doesn't look cool. You can see there's a definitely a couple spots around the edges, but I'm pretty sure I can, I can just lightly, lightly sand that off. Okay. Look at these, they're so bright and they look so good. Like I said, there definitely are imperfections on them and I will have to go through and carefully, carefully clean that off, probably with like a toothpick or something, honestly. But from afar, which is what people would look at it from anyways, they look pretty good and they're so bright. <laughs> yeah, they look really good. And these are gonna look really good too, I swear. So I went ahead and got steel wool. Fine. I haven't used steel wool before on wheels, but I read that you can and it'll work pretty well and get into like all these small little grooves and the cracks down here and stuff. But I normally just use um, a fine grit sanding block. It should be good. I'm gonna try to scrape all of this out. I should have done that the first time, but now that I have a second chance, we're really gonna do it. first wheel is done you can see that it's stripped down back to probably like the first thin layer of white paint there is steel wool all over this so I will have to give it a wash before I lay down my new layers of white but it looks like all of that bumpiness is completely gone I was able to smooth all that out so this one's ready I'm about to start this one this is the worst one because they're actually really deep um, wrinkles in the paint so I think this honestly might have to go down to the primer. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't look too crazy. But we're gonna move on to this one. It's taking a really long time. After like two hours of sanding, this one is finally, so this is the one that we originally sprayed like a full coat of that 2K clear on it. You can see there's still a little bit of the bumpiness, but this is probably as good as we could get it. It will have to have multiple coats because I had to go down to the black, um, but it should be good. So we're gonna spray these off and then try again with some white. I have definitely learned my lesson. I will not put two kick there on anything ever again Whew. all clean and ready to go honestly i'm never using it again i'm just going to, to paint them i guess it's gonna be glossy it's gonna be fine but good god
putting a full new layer of that white gloss paint and Christian's putting them in the heating room now, but as soon as they laid down, one of them started wrinkling up again. I don't know why, because we sanded it down like there was no gloss, there was no clear coat on the wheels at all. Like even the part where it went down to the black, that's all fine, but for some reason the other one crinkled up all crazy like so. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm really upset because <laughs> all I have still, <laughs> after a whole day of work, all I have is the center caps. That's all. I mean, these look really great. They do. They look really good. But I have no wheels. I have no wheels to put them on. We're back. New day. When I try to fix it, this is what it did. I don't know why I keep saying this, but I sanded this wheel down and it still, it did this again. So the rest of the wheel is fine. I sanded it, repainted it, it's fine. It's, there has a little bit of texture, like a tiny bit on, on this side. I've covered it though and like taped it so that I won't overspray anymore. But this side, it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna try one more time to sand it down again see can you see it yeah sand all of this down just a little bit like a light scuff respray it and see if that will fix it and then i'll let it dry but i don't know if because i'm taping this off if like this will be a higher layer than this or it won't i don't know i don't know so we'll see but i don't know why it's doing that and i don't like it okay so this is after sanding it back down you can see this little portion went all the way down to the black again but it should be good. I think it's turning gray like that because it's getting kind of tacky, um, just a little bit, and I think it's taking up some of the particles from the actual sanding block itself. But I blew it all off, and right now it is, it's hard, so it should be fine to do one light coat, and hopefully it doesn't do that crap again. We'll see, I also did this portion because there was a big, big groove in there. But hopefully this is the last time we do this. We're at Obi. I'm gonna strip the wheels down completely, reprimer them, and repaint them with a non acrylic or enamel paint so I can do a nice 2K clear over. Currently, I have this is traffic white, and this is pure white. Honestly, looking at these two, the GTI is closer to this. This is kind of faded, and this is just, I think, this is a nice white, but I think it's a little too white for the old girl. So, I'm gonna go with the pure white. You can probably barely tell. You can see just a little bit of a difference. This kind of has like a warmer undertone. But um, I'm gonna go with this one. I think I'm gonna get four cans. I was gonna go with pure white, but they don't have enough cans of that. I need at least, just to be safe, I'm gonna get four cans. Um, so I'm down to either traffic white or signal white. These are really close. I think I'm gonna go with traffic white because there's enough of these. <laughs> I think it looks good, right? It looks it's white also grabbing two cans of good old primer these are really big cans got literally everything we need also look at her okay okay all right we're back me using some paint stripper this should take everything down to the bare metal and then we can restart with all the new paint that we got After just a few minutes of that paint stripper, it works pretty well. You can see it's actually getting down to the black. So hopefully when I wipe it and kind of like scrub it off, it really takes every every layer off. So I can really just restart, reprimer, and repaint all of this. But yeah, no. This is definitely working. I don't know 10 15 minutes just to really strip down all those layers but you can definitely see that the white is lifting pretty nicely i don't know today i feel like every project that i do takes forever even though christian has painted i don't know dozens of sets of wheels of course when i do it 
it, even though we did the same method, of course it gets crazy and it all goes wrong. But you know what, whatever, it's fine. We're learning, it's great. And also I have to learn <laughs> how to fix my curved wheel because this happened to me today. Um, so Christian went ahead and sanded it with one of the metal files just to smooth it out. Um, I have a new, I got a silver paint, hopefully. It's pretty close. Honestly, it matches pretty nicely. But we're gonna go home, take this off, and put some JB Weld over it to fill in those gouges or those like, yeah, that's what I'll call them. But um, I'm gonna fill that and then sand it so that it's smooth with the wheel and paint over it. It's really not bad, it's just one wheel. Someone was like driving towards me I was trying to turn around, hit this little paver thing, but the, only this one wheel, and it wasn't too hard, but uh, yeah, RIP. I know Dimitri's probably a little bit upset, but you know what, worst case scenario, if I can't fix it, he definitely can. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and scrubbed the first wheel. It's only gone down to the black, so I'm gonna have to put another layer of this stuff on, and hopefully it lifts all of it off. hours I've managed to get all the lips stripped down and this face is almost almost complete I feel like I just shouldn't do projects anymore because they always turn into nightmares <laughs> just put another layer of the paint thinner and it should it should be the last thing my lover came brought me McDonald's so I can survive but this is just really not my day. It's just not my freaking day. But you know what? We have to get it done because these wheels have to be on the GTI by Tuesday. Okay, I'm amped up. I just drank a Coke, had a McRap, ate some french fries. This has been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, look at it. Pick up that layer of primer so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and continue my scraping. Good news is Christian brought a drill with like a little wire bits. So like the wire wheel and a few of the other ones. And I think that will really be it. I actually just jogged over here. It's my first time like legit like running with my ankle. It felt good. I feel better. I don't know. I was in such a bad mood earlier because this is pissing me off. Like every little thing I do always turns into something crazy. And then I go to try to fix it. I curb my wheel. I gotta fix that now. And we have the craziest timeline. Like everything is leaving on Tuesday and Wednesday. So these wheels need to be done like at the very latest, like Monday night. <sighs> We're gonna get it done though. It's fine. We're gonna get it done because that's what we do. Okay, straight up, this is life changing. So this is the one that I've been working on for like 25, 30 minutes now. And it is down to the original silver. I'm actually even getting below that to the primer and then eventually the metal. So if I can just clean this off and then give it a light scuff where everything is super smooth, should be able to paint over that. There's so much gunk in here. Gosh, okay. Now we're moving on to this one. I already started a little bit on the lip. And then we have to keep going. This is so messy and freaking gross. But we're gonna do it too. This is what they look like before we hit them with the pressure washer and now it's a lot better. Hopefully we can get all of this off and then it'll be good. They look really good. Put it 
<laughs> yeah. After probably like 45 minutes of sanding, this is the final outcome. It's pretty smooth. So, this is a look, lot. Look, at, look at this one right here. So under the factory primer, there's like a diamond cut, I think it is, like a machine. We want to try and get all the way under that, but this like factory primer is like impossible. Thick and like heavy duty stuff. Off. So it came off a ton of spots, but it's all standing smooth now. But if we were here. That's like some nice, like if we got to that and it also gone, you could polish the entire wheel. Take forever. If you didn't have like a machine, if you wanted to hand polish it, you could do it, it would suck. Actually, no, you have to polish it here. Just yeah, kidding. it'd be a nightmare. I'm, I'm totally joking. So we would need like the tumbler machine. Yeah. It looks sick polished, but this will be take two. If they get this ruined This is like again, take four, really. I don't know that. See, it always that uh, when I painted my black wheels as well with that acrylic enamel, and I tried to clear over on accident before I knew. Yeah. It bubbled, but this, I mean, this also had like 47 layers of paint, so should be good now. It really should be good. You now. actually see the, oh, yeah. the sizes now. Before, Very clearly. Before it was like the the faintest little outline, and now you actually <laughs> see like all the numbers properly again. All right, take 47. And we're back. This is what two coats of primer is looking like on a entirely stripped wheel. You can see there still is a little bit of texture, but that is honestly just from the metal and all the sanding and grinding and stripping so it's really nothing we can do about it hopefully a few more layers of the primer will build it up and you really won't see it especially whenever we have that clear on after everything's done but it's looking good it's not doing any weird bubbling things so we're on the right track It is currently like 2 o'clock in the morning. I normally go to bed around 9, 10. I'm feeling crazy. Um, so we're super, super tired. We finally finished everything. I'm gonna check tomorrow. It should be good. And then we can clear it and then let it dry one more night. And they'll be done. And then we can put them on the car. It's been such a long day. I am ready to go home. Thank you so much for helping me today. Right. Just play a car short today. It's just like just for fun. Just yeah. Well, whenever we drive it across the U.S., it's gotta look baller. So of it will. Okay. So with that, we are finally going home after like I don't know. I feel like I've been here probably like 10 or 11 hours today. Finally going home. I hope you guys have an amazing Easter with your families. You enjoy. Hopefully, you have some time off of work. Whatever you're doing. Enjoy your time, enjoy your day, and I'll see you soon. And you'll see these wheels done and on the car. It's all gonna come together, everything's gonna be fine. We got this, we got this. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Is that cool? Did that look cool or? I feel like that looked